Hey, what's up everybody? Kyle Buckland here with the Artful Souls. I uh, just want to take a second to talk a little bit about these bamboo um, brush handle extenders. Um, this is something that I actually learned about when I worked for the theater. So I did uh, scenic art and we would paint large backdrops, 20 foot by 40 foot backdrops, and we would lay them on the floor and actually stick our paintbrushes into the end of these long bamboo uh, sticks and then paint with the with the, the brush in the end of the bamboo. And so I started seeing, you know, old pictures of artists like Soroya and Sargent and Monet, and they had these big two, three foot long paint brushes. And I kept thinking, you know, I want to get myself some two foot or three foot long handled paint brushes. And uh, so the, I started looking for brush extenders and couldn't really find anything that I liked online. Uh, so I just said, well, you know, I'll just make some. So um, I'm going to do a video that I'll put up on my Patreon page. Uh, it, it, for the uh, actual how to make these and, and the process of you know going through making them and and how and how to how to source the bamboo and and uh, do all that but um, I just wanted to talk just a little bit about how I actually use them uh, in this video so one advantage and this is kind of the most obvious one is that they force you to stand back from your from your painting and so this is just a, a painting I'm working on here of a bridge um, and you know I've found these to be especially useful in these later stages of the painting. Um, when you're looking for big, bold strokes and you want something that's really going to be kind of a descriptive type of brushstroke, another advantage of using these in the later stages is that it forces you to, like I said, step back and see the painting as a whole. Um, so this is really helpful. I know it's easy to get tunnel vision uh, when you're up on a, a painting and you can't really see what it needs, um, but I think being able to step back um, really can can help you at this stage. So um, you know this is you can see I'm I'm standing two or three feet away from this um, canvas and I'm able to really get a look at the big picture um, to put on these kind of little definitive brush strokes at the end of the painting. So uh, you could use them to to start a painting to lay in a painting, but I find them especially effective. Um, you know, kind of in the later stages. Now, one thing I'll tell you about them is make sure when you hold them, you know, especially the larger ones, you can see I've got different sizes. So this is kind of a small one. This is a bigger one, holds a bigger um, brush. These bigger ones especially can get a little heavy. So you don't want to hold them like right on the end like this. Um, you want to leave a little bit of the handle to, to counterbalance um, the weight of the brush on the end. So I usually grab them about, I don't know, a third of the way up. Uh, and then that, and then you know, it gives you a good bit of leverage. Another thing about them is it forces you to hold it like a sword. Uh, so you start thinking in terms of big movements instead of holding your brush like a pencil. Um, so lots of advantages uh, to using these. Um, you know, you don't want to get them too long, or else they start to get a little bit cumbersome. But um, you know, just the right right length, and you get a lot of nice leverage. So that leverage is also useful for pushing the paint out of the brush. So you'll notice. Um, you know, you have a, a good um, bit of ability to really push paint out of the paintbrush when you're, when you're using uh, these, these types of extenders. And so that's great because a problem I always see with beginners and with students is they're not able to get enough paint to come off of the brush and onto the canvas. And so one, you know, one way to do that is to, to practice pushing um, more paint out of the paintbrush or loading more paint into the paintbrush when you're actually mixing up your color and you know by having these um, by having these extenders that helps naturally just get a little bit more leverage into your into your brush stroke um, and can get it just to be a little bit more um, uh, you know it helps you manipulate the paint on the end of the of, of the paintbrush when you're putting pressure on the paintbrush so I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos and and um, if you want access to more content, you can sign up for my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Uh, I also have my website listed down there where you can purchase paintings or sign up for an in-person workshop. So I've got several workshops lined up, um, teaching a so, uh, plein air workshop in March. And then at the end of January here in a couple weeks, I'm going to be doing a still life uh, painting workshop. So if you want to come study with me, I'd love to have you join up for a workshop. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can give the video a thumbs up. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you soon in the next video.